good morning to all of you in uh, previous sessions we have seen various methods for fir and ir filter realizations where we have seen direct form one direct form two realization cascade parallel realization ladder structure realization lattice structure realization right and transpose form realization in uh, today's session we will be discussing various types of filters their advantages and disadvantages right how filters are categorized digital filters are categorized into different categories uh, depending on their properties right and in subsequent sessions we will be looking at various designing methods that can be used for designing discrete time filters so we will be discussing in subsequent session approximation of derivatives impulse invariant method bilinear transformation method so these methods we will be discussing in subsequent sessions so depending on type of techniques used in signal processing filters are classified as analog filters and digital filters okay so if filter is processing analog signal then the, those filters will be called as analog filters if filters are processing digital signals then those uh, filters will be referred as digital filter we already seen the categorization of these signals how these signals can be identified as analog signal and digital signals right while depending on the type of elements used in construction of filters these filters can be categorized as active and passive filters so the passive components uh, such as capacitors inductors resistors uh, can be used to construct passive filters while the active components such as operational amplifiers or transistors can be used to construct active filters and to support the operations such as signal isolations buffering or voltage amplification even depending on the operating frequency range of the filters filter can be classified as low pass filter high pass filter band pass filter band stop filter and all pass filters low pass filter has a constant output from zero to a cut off frequency and it attenuates all frequency above cut off frequency so it only allows the low pass frequency signal through it right and all high frequency signal above the cut off frequency will be restricted there in case of low pass filter while in case of high pass filter it attenuates all signals of frequency uh below the cut off frequency and produces output above this frequency so it allows all high frequency signals while it attenuates the uh, frequencies which are uh, below the cut off frequency right in case of band pass filter it uh, it passes a band of frequency and attenuates all frequency outside the specified frequency band right so uh, uh, therefore it is also called as band pass filter so it only allows the just for example 200 uh, megahertz to 500 megahertz uh, frequencies will be passed through the signal the uh, signals having a frequency below 200 megahertz and above 500 megahertz will be attenuated by this signal those will be rejected by this filter right another category is the band stop filter which uh, rejects a specified band of frequencies while passing all other frequency outside the band exactly opposite of that band pass filter right so it simply reject a specified band of frequencies in previous case we have considered 200 
megahertz to 500 megahertz frequency band will be passed through the bandpass filter but in case of band stop filter that frequency band will be stopped there allowing the uh, signals with frequency 200 megahertz below the 200 megahertz and it also allows the signals having frequency more than 500 megahertz so the uh, band stop filter rejects uh, specified band of frequency while passing all other frequency outside the band uh, this filter is also referred as band rejection or band elimination or notch filter okay so this band stop filter is also called as band rejection band elimination or notch filter another category is all pass filter passes all frequency equally well with the phase shift between the two frequencies so this filter is also referred as phase shift or time delay or delay equalizer filter uh, here uh, the simulation of lossless transmission line is one of the application of this all pass filter which al allows all frequency equally well with the phase shift between the two frequencies so the extraction of information from signal or to improve the quality of signal uh, is the basic objective of designing any digital filter so digital filters has various advantages over the uh, analog filters so the main ob objective of digital filters is extraction of information from signal or to improve the quality of signal this is the main objective of digital filter so digital filter can be considered as a mathematical operation or an algorithm which can be designed by using hardware or software which takes digital input and produces digital output right so digital filter can be considered as one of the digital system that we have seen in some previous session how that digital system can be defined where we are applying digital input it processes that digital input by using digital hardware or a software or maybe a, a computer algorithm and then it will produces a digital output right so digital filters are preferred than the analog filters in number of applications such as this data processing then image processing speech processing uh, because uh, these digital filters has various advantages over the analog filters so first one is the frequency response of the digital filter is programmable that is the first advantage of digital filter over the analog filter another one is the digital filter can be operated at very low frequencies which is not possible in case of analog filter the digital filters have linear phase response which is not available in case of analog filters even for filtering several input signals a single digital filter can be used without replicating the hardware in case of analog filter you need to replicate hardware if you want to process multiple signals right or if you want to perform the multiple filtering operations okay so the performance of digital filter does not affected by various environmental changes in case of analog filters the external parameters will affect the overall operation of that analog filter but in case of digital filter the overall performance will not get affected by various environmental parameter changes so a digital filter has certain disadvantages also right so uh, the major disadvantage of uh, digital filter compared to the analog filter is speed of operation right so digital filter has low speed of operation compared to the analog filter even another disadvantage is its finite word length effect and even more time is required for development and designing of digital filter compared to the analog filters so in uh, most of the cases uh, 
while using the digital filters you need to convert the analog filter uh, sorry analog signal into digital signal and then you can uh, perform the uh, digital filtering operation over that signal right so there are categorization of filters depending on their impulse responses so those uh, filters can also be categorized into uh, infinite impulse response filters and finite impulse response filters but uh, these finite impulse response filters has certain advantages over the infinite impulse response filter so first advantage is the designing methods used in case of fir filters are linear while fir filters can be effectively realized in hardware form compared to the ir filters because there is infinite impulse response so realization of such ir filters is uh, sometimes not uh, feasible right the filter initial tra transient are finite in duration in case of fir filter but in case of ir filters they can be infinite duration fir filters are always stable right and fir filters can have exact linear phase okay so these are the various advantages of fir filters over the ir filters so in next session we will be discussing the ir filter design by approximation of derivatives method thank you for joining this session